What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. Today, before I head over to Predatory Fins and show you what we're gonna do over there, because it's gonna be crazy, just, just know that. He got a bunch of new fish in stock, and he's got even more coming. But the main reason we're heading over there today is to check out the two fish that I bought. Well, I haven't bought them yet, but I'm going to buy them, and those two fish our platinum red tail catfish. This is this is insane. You'll see him in this video later on. There's a lot that goes on, so please stick along. Trust me, it's gonna be a crazy video. Another cool thing is we got a sponsor for today's video. Vikings War of Clans sponsored today's video. I was playing it all day yesterday in the pond. Yo, Paul, where have you been all morning, bro? Hey, man. Oh my god. Been chilling in the pond playing uh, Vikings War of Clan. Oh, that game? Yeah. You want to know more about it? Yeah, bro. Tell me. I got you. This game was inspired by top PC strategy and RPG games of the 90s. Vikings gives you an option to choose your own playstyles. What makes Viking World so addictive is there's over 20 million online players changing the way the game evolves. By never ending fighting over resources, forging over new alliances, and competing in live events. Support my channel by downloading Vikings for free. Top link in the description, check it out. Please do, and get the special bonus of 200 gold and a protective shield. So that is that, download Vikings. Like I said, link is in the description. That is that, you can download Vikings War of Planet. Link is in the description. Now without further ado, let's go check out our $2,000 worth of fish at Predatory Fins. We are at Predatory Fins. Now look at this fish tank behind me. If you have seen it already on my channel, this isn't really what today's video is dedicated on, so don't worry, we got new things to show you. But if you haven't, let me give you a little rundown real quick. Rodrigo, this is the man right here. The man with the plan. Up, are you gonna it's, stop growing or what? Man? I don't know, dude, I'm getting pretty tall. Jeez. I mean, I am. Rodrigo owns blowing up. Predatory Fins, and this is like one of the dope, it is the dopest in this area, for sure. What is, have you, are you friends with Ohio Fish Rescue, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna I haven't go made there. the trip there yet. You're going? But I definitely want to. Yeah, I wanna make that trip. That's another really cool fish store that we'll probably do something with eventually on this channel, but Predatory Fins is the jam in place. Look at these Arapaima, look at this. Today's video is on one of these guys, just in a baby version. That is a platinum red toe catfish. We're gonna show you babies that are actually mine. I haven't purchased them yet, but they're gonna be mine. We're just growing them out a little more. There's a tiger shovel nose back there as well. And there's also, see this albino knife fish coming right at you. It's just, un look how big that pocket is. And this is all in one fish tank. It's absolutely incredible. How many gallons is this? 12,000. 12,000 gallons. Zach actually caught that one. Zach did? Yeah. Catch them all caught that big pocket right there. Swim away. Oh, it's on that side now. I mean, you could take one glance, one good glance at this whole entire tank, just pan from the left, and then walk right, Davis, and just try to count how many fish you see. Three, two, two, two. Oh, you can't count them. <laughs> that camera is so freaking clear. It's not, it. even, it's not even funny, dude. Last time I was here with the G7X, we actually swam with these fish. That was wild. Hey, look at the peacock bass. I, I just can't get enough of it. Look at the datanoid right here, too. It's too many fish, Steven. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta get out of here. I'm just gonna freak out. What do we got going on here? I wanna show you something. Rod is always, he's always got new stuff for us every time we come. It's Chocolate black. Dog. Okay, so we saw a melanistic alligator at Brian's place. That thing was fully black. This is a fully black gar. Yo, it's literally fully black. And now, what else is in that thing? You said something with albino? There's an albino lungfish. Albino, he's gonna get a bigger net. There's an albino lungfish in here as well. And I wanna put the albino lungfish in this little bin right here, next to this melanistic tropical gar, just to give you a comparison of the color difference. Like, an albino and a melanistic is like two completely, they are completely different colors. Albino lungfish. Now watch the difference in color between these two creatures. Ah, that gives you a good example right there. And these guys here will get up to four feet long. Four, four feet long, these lungfish get up there. Hey, right, grab it. Oh, dude, they're so slimy. Totally different texture than they are. Yeah, so the tropical gar is like a rough texture. This one is like really, like, it's almost like a, a wet skin. Oh, like an eel. Yeah. They are back, safe and sound. Now look how much we got over here. Lots and lots of fish. And this is gonna be, this is gonna be a stingray. Uh, circular, what do you want to round. call it? Yeah, round. round fish tank. Yeah, we uh, pond. We just started setting up, but I think by next Saturday the stingray should be here. And you got the four viewing panels in here. Yeah, the only thing I gotta do, is uh, make sure that this is sanded 
So a Stingray is so fragile, not only to water quality, but to this right here. This little tiny corner of glass could shred, what, you could slice them, right? Yeah, because they, all they do is just swim around the whole tank. So if they yeah. get in there, they get caught up. So you just shave those thing. down and then we'll be good. But I mean, but this thing is dope. If I put all the Stingrays here, they start breeding no problem. They have babies and then babies. Yeah, and then we start having predatory fins babies. So yeah, somebody brought him over. We're gonna rescue him. We're gonna try what's, to save his what's eyes. His, what's wrong with him? Well, what happened was he, he was in a huge pond. He's got a fungus on his Right, and they brought him over and we put him in, in that pond and he's just going crazy because he's not used to. Yeah, being a uh, confined space, and then catfish are very sensitive. Yeah, and they can get fungus really easy. So we're treating him. Hopefully, he'll be able to save his eyes. Is that what this is from? Yeah, we're right now. Oh, that's why the water is a little green. One of these might, let's just say, might be, maybe not now, but eventually will be in my backyard. That's for sure. These, I like to call them dinosaur fish. They're really called sturgeon. What these sturgeon are these exactly? <clears throat> these guys are sterling. Sterling sturgeon. They only get up to three feet. Gotcha. So they don't get too big. These are about a foot, foot and change, and uh, I can't wait to have one of my own. Now we're getting into the, the goodies right here. We got all the albino and normal clown, uh, clown knife fish. All right, so we got platinum red tail catfish, and now we got albino arowanas up top. I mean, this is a, this is insane. This is exactly why I came right here is to see this little tiny tank because two of these platinum red tail catfish are actually coming home with me. Not now, but when they get a little bit chunkier. That's what Rod's here for. Rod fattens them up. Keeps them real healthy, and then uh, he hits me up when they're ready. But the reason why I'm here is so you can pick them and let me know which one you're. Yeah. Wearing. Oh, I'm here, and I'm. I like. I got my two. I'm right there with you. I like that guy. So He's very this unique. guy right here in the back, for sure, with the black back. It is a platinum, but I think that'll look cool when it gets bigger. Right. And then I'm thinking this guy right here. This is the Those chubbiness. Two? Yeah. Yeah, I like, he how, he, right I like how he's big, yeah. Okay. But I'd rather have a more white one, you know what I mean? But definitely that. that one, right? Yeah, yes, okay. for sure that. Yeah, cool. So we got our two chosen in like five seconds. All right, out here at the Puffer Aquarium now. What kind of puffers you got in there? These guys are the MBU. Yeah. They get pretty big, and then you got the Fajacos as well. See, I'm not the Puffer guy, dude. I've never owned one, and I've never really seen them in aquariums. Like once or twice at like Mark's Ark, but other than really? that, they're I actually, have no idea. They're actually pretty cool. The other, earlier today, I was here with uh, Chandler. Are they friendly? Look, he's trying to bite my finger. <laughs> they're very oh, yeah, curious yeah. fish. Oh, look. look at them! Look at them! Wow! Holy moly! That really does make me want to get one. I don't exactly have the room right now, but when we get the new cribbo, we're gonna have all sorts of stuff in the warehouse. That's for sure. All right, right over here we have all of our baby hybrids, which is a tiger shovel nose and a red tail catfish bred together, and it equals this. Right there is a regular tiger shovel nose, and then you'll see the hybrid, which is right here, right there behind. There they are, the bigger ones, the more, the fatter head. It is endless, endless. I think we might I got, be getting. I got 55 boxes coming Wednesday. 55 so you boxes. Might, you might want to come back on the Saturday. Let me just tell you, if you want to keep up with all the fish being brought into predatory fins and. Be updated on all these aquariums. Check out his channel. I'll have his YouTube channel, Rod's YouTube channel, linked in the description. This would be good for your farm. That's what I'm saying. I think I might have to leave tonight with one of these. Speaking of getting some fish, I already have one in the little koi pond. But these are much bigger and much more healthy. So, what do you think? I think you should get one of the one of the bigger ones like that. Yeah, I'm down. They get I pretty big, think, right? Yeah, they get to four feet. I mean, it's very. A lot of people can't get them at their real size because they don't wait long enough, or they'll lose them. You know before they reach to the size. That's how easy it is here. I never I never come here and leave without a fish. Sometimes I do. Actually, I think I have came here one time and left without something. But that's because you're busy though. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's a good reason for it. <laughs> anyway, we're getting a high fin shark for sure. This is on another level here. I just wanted to show you guys this in particular. Like This fish right here is a dolphin. It has the same body shape. The same nose, the same everything. He's gonna net one just to give you a good, a good look at one. I mean, it's, it is a dolphin. Like, I'm not kidding you. you get, they, get, they get to three, four feet as well. Is that crazy or what? Now, if you have no. never seen that, if you've never seen that fish right there, this is the first time I've ever seen one in person, but you let me know in the comments. What was your initial reaction when you saw that? Were you like freaking out? Because I know I was. Very so smart. They're just like a regular dolphin. Yeah. You can throw a ball in there and they'll play with the ball. No! <laughs> yeah. They're very smart fish. I had them in that in that 500 gallon. Yeah. One went over the overflow. All of them went under the overflow. Like they're all follow one. That's why they're all on a pole. Yeah. I like that. If you think I should get one of those dolphin fish, not now, but later on, 
Maybe when we get a warehouse or something, you let me know. I'm always open for suggestions. As a matter of fact, like this video. If this hits over 10,000 likes, I'll come back and get it one day. Right behind us here, if you flip around, this is an albino Wells catfish. And these are from China? Yeah, there's two versions. I should, there might be even more. But the European version gets it 12 feet long. Yeah, like the ones that they're picking out of the yeah, water. Yeah, like. those have been in the US. So the Chinese is the, the closest cousin relative that you can buy. They get like four feet? These guys will max out five feet, which is still pretty, pretty decent size. Dang, dude. Imagine having one of those. I might do like all these things are potential things I can have. But I don't want to overbuy fish, you know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to take care of everything I have, so I'm not really going out of my way to buy random things. I'm waiting until I have a big enough enclosure, big enough fish tank. Right. Um, and then eventually, eventually I'll get everything I want. That's just how it goes, but you just got to take your time. Ease on it. Right now, it's currently, let me, let me tell you, and people are going to be freaked out. It's 12.15 in the morning right now. I mean, this is just how he lives. He's up late, same with me. I don't, I don't work good in the morning. Nope. It's just not how I am. I wake up at like 12 and I'm bang. I'm up until like 5 a.m. Grinding, you know, that's how it goes. That's it. You're still oh, young though. I'm not younger anymore. Even over the thing. These are, what are they, bumblebee catfish? Yeah. Oh. I've never seen one of these in my life, just to let yeah. everyone know. I didn't, even oh. know they, I didn't even know they existed. You probably get a good look at them right there. I mean, it's got the, sh the colors is what I'm guessing the name comes from. Yep. But that is a cool looking fish. Looks like a blob and a Goliath grouper mix. And you can see their eyes are very small. It's hard to see right tiny, now, but you can see from tiny, that guy. Tiny eyes. Very little eyes because they don't rely on their eyes to catch prey. And the last aquarium before we bag up our high fin sharks is this butte right here. What a beautiful aquarium. Three big old peacock bass straight out of Miami. Right? These are these were actually wild at one point. These were somebody's spawn that we were rescuing. Um, he took his spawn down. Yeah. So once you have a, a, a wild fish, you don't want to put it back dry. into the public. I mean, well, in a public lake, won't eat like it would normally if you were to hand feed it and stuff. So it'd end up dying. Right. So we put him in this tank because I can't put him in a big tank. I don't want any parasites to go in there. Yep. So we're treating him in this tank right now. Then a big old spotted gar. Yep. Yep. As you can see, there's like something on his face. Yep. That's why I don't have any other type of fish in here. He's smart about it. He sees anything little. He just puts it in a quarantine tank and then waits yeah, till that thing is gone. Up. Once you yeah. mix it up, then everything else gets it. Yep. You gotta watch out. All right, where's the big one? You got a big one somewhere in there. There he is. I want you. I choose you. Hey, got him. They act like triple tail. Like they're very, very. <laughs> I was gonna say smooth, but that wasn't a, the best word to say after that. Perfect. Bang. Size one. Getting some oxygen in the bag, and then we are gonna head back to the house, acclimate him to the pond, and then wabam. This will be the second high fin into the new pond, and then we're gonna get like a few koi fish. Not a lot, but we're gonna get a few koi fish eventually as well. We got a high fin shark, and uh, big shout out to Rod here, the man, the man, the myth, the legend, hooking it up. Always. Let's head home. It's cold outside. Probably like 65 degrees to most people. It's probably not cold whatsoever, but we switched on over to the G7X here, the little camera. Big one's out of memory. Uh, today's positive comment shout out before I release this fish into the pond just yet. Goes out to Choff C. Great channel, Paul. I just subscribed. Love it. Hey, Choff, appreciate that. And to all those who do support me in the comments down below, if you haven't done so already, join the family. Hit the subscribe button. Become a Kefaro today, and then turn your post notifications on by clicking that bell right after you click the subscribe button. You'll be notified every time I do upload, which is every other day on this channel. We got home, ate some food, and then I <coughs> look at that high fin shark right there. It's like calico colors. Isn't that a pretty fish? Oh! Hey, it was a perfect head dive. <laughs> All right, clean, not the smoothest, but clean release. Perfect little head dive there. 